Harley Davidson had finally unveiled its very first all electric bike and this is very exciting but at the same time kind of scary because we're testing a very non-electric vehicle friendly market. Um, I'm going to show you what the what it looks like and tell you why this is important and why this is such a guinea pig type of a test despite the fact there are quite a few other all electric motorcycles on the market already. All of this is coming up next. Thank you to those of you who are watching me live on Patreon.com. And if this is your first time here watching me on YouTube, welcome. If uh, if you want to stay up to date on everything that's going on in the world of electric cars, well, there's a subscribe button and it's free. Uh, so feel free to hit it so you don't miss anything moving forward. Okay, so uh, let me show you the bike. And, uh, you know, I got to tell you, I'm not a bike person. I'm not a motorcycle person. It looks like neither is Elon Musk, but I can appreciate a good looking bike. You know what I mean? So, and I have to say, uh, I was a little worried. And obviously, you know, uh, Harley Davidson is kind of in trouble in terms of, you know, the generation that rides those bikes is kind of slowly dying out or at least no longer able to ride these bikes. And so, they, you know, their stock is down. They've been, you know, having a tough time uh, selling them. But they have made a commitment to uh, come up with this live wire uh, a line. And, you know, there are quite a few, uh, you know, zero motorcycles and many others um, that have been successfully producing motorcycles, uh, all electric motorcycles. And it, it's a trip. It's pretty cool to see those like go real fast and there's no sound, right? Um, and one of the worries, of course, is the fact that there is no sound and people who ride motorcycles like to be loud and they like to feel the vibration of the bike. And, you know, feel free to tell me in the comment section if you're right, if you're a bike rider, what it is that you're going to miss about it because, well, this is where, you know, it's moving. And I got to tell you, I think it's a good looking bike. I, I think this is something that, uh, uh, um, you know, people can get behind on now. Um, the grand, and they, they just unveiled it at the, well, a motorcycle uh, show in Milan, um, Italy. And, uh, you know, I, again, I'm, I'm looking forward to the feedback. Let me know in the comment section what, what you think. But I got to tell you, I think this they, they did an amazing job making it look like because, you know, all of the other motorcycles, not all of the others, but at least half, they're trying to do something like really fancy or they're having a trouble to do some styling because of the, where the battery needs to be or how big uh, the battery needs to be or how the electric motor uh, is connected to the back wheel. Uh, you know, but I think they did an amazing job. As a matter of fact, I mean, just from an untrained eye, these two um doesn't i like if if i saw it riding on the street i wouldn't even know it's an electric bike well besides the fact that i won't like have my you know ears bleeding after that but 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 i think it's it's really cool now but let me tell you why this is important um before that, let me just remind you, of course, that this show and this channel is sponsored by Evanex. The aftermarket accessories for Tesla, um, maybe they will do some for uh, bikes. Uh, no, Tesla's not going to produce any, but, uh, you know, who knows? Um, anyway, the discount code in it is in the description of this video, so check that out. And here's another picture, actually, uh, of somebody uh, writing this thing. And I think this looks even better with somebody writing it. Um, now, the, here's here's the thing, right? Uh, the electric car revolution had be, has been tough uh, because of the infrastructure, right? Because of the pricing, but also, you know, and people are just overall kind of scared of cars and especially those who are into like, you know, muscle cars and trucks and, you know, uh, racing and stuff like that. All this electric car stuff has really been, haven't been very appealing to them until now that there are quite a few videos coming out about, you know, Tesla kicking everyone's butt at the racetracks. But overall, that was a tough go, especially for a typical macho, you know, American guy. Um, and so this is very touchy-feely subject, right? How do you get those, you know, macho guys riding Harleys into the quiet, environmentally friendly, uh, tree-hugging type of a bike? Well, First of all, you need to make sure the performance is at the very least the same, but really needs to be better, just like with cars. Um, secondly, it needs to look the same. And, the, you know, these are the same concepts as when we talk about the actual electric cars, right? Make the, the, the damn things look exactly the same so people don't necessarily have to buy them because they're electric. Let them buy because they're still awesome bikes. Uh, they look great. They, they, they perform well. And I think this is where, uh, you know, Harley is really, really nailing this one. Um, Here's another picture of a bit of a close-up. Um, also, by the way, uh, Jaguar also today just announced that they've uh, invested in this company called Arc Vector, and this is this is their bike. So obviously, big boys are jumping into the into this because it does look like this is the future. Now, it, it is probably 
we shouldn't assume that it's going to be the same guys who are right now riding Harleys, you know, buying this. You know, some of them will. Um, and I'm interested to see how they're going to be uh, adopting to that. But it looks like this is for the next generation riders, right? This is for the 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 younger generation. They're a little bit more open to new technology. They're a little bit more open to electric cars, or maybe already have experienced electric cars and so forth. Maybe it is for you know electric car owners who've never really ridden a bike um, and always wanted to, and maybe this is their cue to do so. Now, they're they're really don't ask me about the numbers. It doesn't look like they're releasing too many numbers. What the range is, and you know, it, it's and I don't. Don't even know when they're going into production i am assuming in the next year or two probably would make more sense for them uh, but overall i think this is something that we need to keep our, uh, our eyes on when harley davidson is creating you know moving into that direction gee you know that this revolution is really taking over so uh, let me know in the comment section i definitely love to know what you especially if you're a rider uh, what do you think about this or maybe you already own an electric bike let me know what the differences are or maybe advantages i uh, would love to know this is definitely the topic i'll i'll, I'll keep covering uh for for a while and in the future maybe experience it yourself i know i don't ride but i'd like to check out one in person um i have reached out to harley davidson to do that so we'll see if we can establish a good relationship um, by the way, let me, um, you know, since the slide popped up here, if you want to support me on Patreon, as, uh, I, I would love that. And uh, obviously my Patreons get to watch me live and, and be the first ones watching these videos. And, and I also do an extra uh, video uh, called the, um, the Extra Mile. Um, so, you know, and, and just supporting, I'm, I'm now full time, but let me uh, uh, give a few shout outs to my new Patreons. And the first one is uh, Richard Dewhurst. Uh, thank you so much for joining, Richard. I appreciate it. I appreciate your support. Um, next up is Lito Longsan. Um, Lito, thank you. Welcome to the family. Welcome to this community. And don't forget, you guys kind of get to shape some of the themes and um, some of the topics of my videos. So uh, uh, welcome. And uh, last but not least, and I remember you from the last uh, hangout on Sunday, uh, Urban Lelvold. Uh, yeah, hope I pronounced your name the right but uh, welcome to the family. I know there are quite a few of you guys who joined recently. You know, I have a backlog. There's so many of you are joining. So, but I'm just trying to keep like more, no more than three per day. So be patient. I will definitely uh, feature you very soon. And, you know, speaking of Sunday subscriber hangouts so that I've started recently, uh, this would be the coming up this Sunday. It would be the fourth one. Join me. This is live on YouTube, actually, where we're just, just hanging out. You guys, I can ask me questions. I ask you questions. We have a pretty good time. I think last time we went for over two hours and stuff like that. Um, it's already scheduled and you can uh, set yourself a reminder on the home page of this channel. All right. Looking forward to the uh, comment section as always. Other than that, see you next time. And remember to stay charged.